You gotta go. Uh, aren't you supposed to spend the night? No, no. Spend the night. You can check yourself out when you're ready to go, okay? Not even a kiss. A kiss. Kiss. What says the time? Is this is this sound correct? Oh my oh damn. Baby, I, I was working, I was so busy, I think I lost track of time. I was I just got caught up in my work. Oh my god, it's Wow, it's so late. I didn't know it was so late. Oh, babe, I'm, I'm sorry, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, baby. You're sorry? Yeah. What exactly are you sorry about? That you spent yet another night with one of your numerous side chicks? Oh, what? What exactly? What side chick are you talking about? I have no idea what you were saying. Oh, so tell me, since when did you start wearing feminine cologne? What, what feminine color am I? The one I smell all over you. Baby, come on. You have no idea how many ladies I hug in a day. <laughs> the last time I checked, you were a chartered accountant. Look, I had no idea there was a department in accounting that requires you hugging women all over the place. Oh, baby, sometimes I meet old friends, you know? We greet, we hug, sometimes, you know, it's just colleagues at the office and then you meet people, it's like, you know, hey, how are you? How are you doing here? Yeah, it's been a long time. You shake hands. You know, these things happen all the time. You know, you meet people, you hug, it's, it's, it's normal. Your depth in line is simply amazing and unrivaled. Look, I'll be frank with you. There are sometimes after you close a major deal at the office and everybody is so excited. We hug each other and like, congratulations, you know, congratulations on the deal. That's how it works sometimes. Like the deal I caught you closing pants down with the girl, what's her name, at Star Hotel? What's her name again? Remind me. What? I asked for your forgiveness and we moved past that. You want to bring that up again? Are you going to bring that up every time we have an argument or you're suspicious about something? Don't do that. Jason, let me ask you, what do you see in those girls that I don't have? Tell me, what is it they have that I don't have? I still look good even after giving you two beautiful children. What is your problem? You know what, baby? I'm tired. I've had a hard day, you know. I, I don't want to go on with this conversation, arguing about all the things you're talking about. All I want to do is to go upstairs, freshen up and then get some rest. So, I'll be upstairs, all right? Mm -hmm. So tired. All right. <sighs> you know what? You see that thing you're looking for outside? One day you'll find it. Mark my words. I'm upstairs. Wait. 
Wait. You're going to bed? Obviously so. But you've not had dinner? Not tonight. So, why didn't you tell me you'd be eating out? I'm sorry, Michelle. Skipped my mind. Oh, well, yes, it did. But you know what would happen? You will get off that bed, go downstairs and eat the meal I served since 7 p.m. waiting for your return. Oh, Michelle, come on. It's just food. We turn it to the fridge. What's the big deal? The big deal is that you will eat that food. It's a must. If you if I'm not hungry. Obviously, you're filled up because you've been messing around town with one of your numerous side chicks. Oh, here we go again, Michelle. Can't you have a simple conversation without having to smuggle side chicks into it? Can't you come back home to your wife like every responsible married man does? Come back after the day's job? Where am I? Am I not home? How do you call this place? Hell? Yeah, it's becoming hell for me anyways. Jason Edwards, listen to me. Go downstairs and eat the meal I served. Michelle Edwards, I am not hungry. <laughs> you think I'm joking, right? You, you, you think I'm joking? Look, let me tell you. You will not sleep a wink in this house if you don't go downstairs and eat. What? What the hell do you take me for? Huh? I go out of my way and cook for you. You come back from God knows where and tell me you're not hungry. Why didn't you tell me you'd be eating out so I don't stress myself cooking for you? Oh, there we go. Stress yourself. Michelle, stress yourself. What do you do in this house? I provided the money for you to even cook in the first place. I cooked. I served it and you must eat it because every food I serve must be eaten. Michelle's Michelle. rules. Michelle, I now see. get off that bed. Go downstairs and eat your meal. Michelle, I want to sleep, okay? Please, I'm tired. I want Jason, to Jason, don't even let me start. Jason, I am not joking. Get off that bed. Go downstairs and eat your meal now. Okay, now. okay, okay, okay. Okay. What? That's more like it. <sighs> Favorite. Delicious, right? The food is damn cold. It was hot when I served it. Can you just take it in the kitchen and heat it at least? I can't. You'll eat it like that. There's no wasting of my gas or burning my energy to go into the kitchen to use the microwave to heat a food that has already been heated. I won't. Next time, endeavor to be home early. If you'll be late, give me a call. Understood? When you're ready to heat it, let me know. with your husband this time around. I think he has started cheating again. You don't mean it. After all the apologies he offered the other time you busted him. And how did he even come by this information? It's more like a feeling. He came back home very late yesterday reeking of feminine colon. And did you confront him? What did he say? He said he shares hugs with a lot of people so he might have picked up the scent hugging them. Wahala. I'm using right. That was my exact reaction when he said that. Assuming he's back in the game of cheating? I am not assuming. 
He is cheating. You suspect he's cheating. It's the same thing. That means you're not completely sure. To be completely sure, I'll suggest you plant a tracker in his car. That sounds like a good idea. Well, that way you know his whereabouts and a good way to catch him if he ever lies about a particular location is not. <laughs> Most definitely I am doing that. Well, not to worry. I know a guy who can fix that for you. All you have to do is bring his car and it's done. I am definitely doing that. That settles it. Hey, hey. Guy. What's up now? I'm good. How are you? Man, I'm good, man. It's soon already. Let's go grab something for lunch. No, bro. Not today, man. Got this work on my decks I want to complete before it jeopardizes my plans for the weekend. What plan? What plans? You know, there's no more weekend for our uh, own up, you know, arrangement with the babes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, you should have just stayed single, you know. I mean, which guy must have your distance? I know you understand you. Eh? And don't be saying your wife no fine. Guy, guy, guy. I don't tie with that babe, man. That's one of the disadvantages of getting married early, you know? We got married, I was 26. She was like, what, 23? That's too early, bro. So, what's the disadvantage of such an early marriage? Guy, both of you have kids, two teenage kids in, in school already, in the United States. Guy, if you ask me, you are blessed. Bro, you will never understand. The disadvantage of getting married early is that you, you don't have time to explore. We rush into marriage too early. So, you know, I never had time to, um, you know, see other things, press some buttons here and there, and make sure which size and which is going to correspond. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I still don't understand what you're talking yeah, about. Of course you won't understand because you're not in my shoes. And I'm going to tell you that I refuse to be stuck in one groove all my life. Bro, I have to taste all the things. We, we should try it. You know, you're tasting a different soup. You know, you can't keep with banga all the time. You taste, oh, ah, you have a, a fan, you know, a dikako, all those things. You have to mix it. <laughs> so it's okay if she has the same mindset. Like you'll, you'll be cool with it if she has a side piece. If she try out. You see? You see your hypocrisy right in your face? Oh, uh, forget, forget, forget uh, uh, hypocrisy right now. Uh, before I forget, uh, we have this emergency meeting tonight, okay? What meeting? I didn't get a memo today. Yeah, yes. of course you didn't get a memo. That's what I'm telling you, just in case she calls you, we have an emergency meeting tonight. Oh, okay. You want me to lie to your wife? That's if she calls you. I'm not going to do that. Bros, what is your problem? What's in the working set now? Don't spoil my parole for this weekend, though. I beg, I take God beg you, don't spoil and please. Guy, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with who? What you are doing is not cool. How? You have a loving wife. I don't understand. What is your problem? My problem, not your problem. Uh-uh. Guy, I beg, I don't want you. Don't go spoil my move. Don't go spoil my move, please. You are so hungry. <laughs> Hello, baby. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be home early today. I um, have uh, something that came up. I just want to let you know so that you don't wait up for me um, and uh, make dinner for me. I'll be home a bit late. And what came up this time around? Uh, something came up at the office. Uh, it's an emergency meeting tonight. Oh, you mean an emergency meeting with one of your side chicks? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear this? Jason, I can hear you clearly. Can you, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, baby, can you hear me? The network is bad, but if you can hear me, I will be home a bit late tonight. The meeting at the office, don't wait up for me, okay? Don't make me dinner, baby, all right? Bye bye, love you, bye bye. Hello? Hello? <laughs>
Hi, Henry. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm very well. Anyways, quick one. Do you guys have any emergency meeting at the office today? Hello? Are you there? Yeah, yes, there's an emergency meeting. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, so do you have an idea how long this emergency meeting would take? No idea. Okay, I see. Thank you. Baby, you're still up. Jason, it's past midnight. Where have you been? What kind of question is that? What do you mean by where have I been? Didn't I tell you that I was going to be late tonight? A bit late was your exact word. You never said you were going to be this late. Okay, okay. The meeting stretched late into the night. Are you satisfied? <laughs> what meeting? You and I know you had no official meeting. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to argue with you. <clears throat> I'm tired. I had a very long energy sapping meeting that has exhausted me. All I need to do right now is to go upstairs, freshen up and sleep. Uh, I'm completely spent. You see this energy you've been sapping around lately? <laughs> soon, you run completely out of it. Very soon. <laughs> Do you know what Italians call Gattuso? <laughs> I'm generic Gattuso. <laughs> Good night, my love.
Babe. Yeah. Can I borrow your car for the weekend? What? You have your own car. Why don't you use it? It needs servicing. And service it. So why can't I use yours? I mean, it's just for the weekend. I have a club meeting this weekend and I'll be needing my car. I thought your club meetings were on Sundays last Sunday of every month. I have a new club. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have a new club now. Yeah, we have a new club now. What's the name of this new club? It's called Association of Mind Your Business. <laughs> That's very funny, Jason. You see that thing? That thing that you're looking for on every girl's waist in Lagos, in this town, you'll find it one day. Jason, you will find it one day. <laughs> and I'll be here waiting. Jason, since you cannot keep yourself a married man like you cannot keep yourself, you go around chasing everything in skirts. You'll find it one day. You must find it. Continue. No, Jason, continue. 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 Keep on looking. You will find it. And when you find it, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Ah. You like waste, Abby? Every girl in Lagos waste. You're looking for something there. You'll find it. I promise you. You must find that thing. You're looking for it. You'll find it. Wait. Oh, no, 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 no. I said continue. Jason, continue. That thing you're looking for, you will find it. Keep on. Any waste you see, you are looking for it. You'll find it. You will find it or continue. Go for your, all your club beating. Continue. You'll find it. Don't worry. Until you find that thing you're looking for. Until you find it. <laughs> Don't stop. Keep on looking. You're going for a meeting. Continue. Everything you see, you want to open this Continue. This was after I had access to his phone and I found out he's been chatting with four different girls. Four different girls? Then I, I need that your guy's contact. I need him to come to the house and plant the device on his car. Immediately, as, like I want it like now. Sounds like a good idea. Just give me a second, let me call him. Please, please, like I need it like now, now, now. Hey, my brother. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? I got a call from your wife yesterday hmm. asking me about your emergency meeting. I knew she was going to make that call. And you did a needful, right? Which I'm not going to be doing again. Bro, calm down. Come on. 
What's the big deal, man? The big deal is lying to your wife makes me an enabler of your deceitful way of life. <laughs> My deceitful way of life. You that smokes like there is no tomorrow. You are telling me about being deceitful. Oh, come on. Smoking is a bad habit I picked up from my father. Which I'm trying to stop. So hard. And by the way, what has it got to do with you cheating on your wife? Everything. Everything. Um, we just have our own respective habits, you know. The fact that yours is different from mine doesn't make you any holier than I am. We are all brethren in the business of iniquity. No, 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 I am not in any business of iniquity. Yes, yes you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. You are on your own. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> be able to um, track the car from the map on your phone okay so you're sure it can't be detected right it can't it can't be detected. you can't get that here's yeah. your pick yeah i appreciate it thank you very much ma'am <clears throat> thanks to you too nice doing business with you thank you yeah sure Where is the venue of this meeting of yours? Somewhere in town. I need to know the exact location, in case. In case of what? Any eventuality. Oh, everything is okay. I mean, no cause for alarm. Take a chill, all right? I'm gonna be fine. Jason, if you don't tell me the exact location of your meeting, I won't let you step an inch out of this house. Stop me if you can. <laughs> you will step out of this house.
You know, those kids are the only reason why I'm still here. How is that supposed to make me feel? Lucky. I'm in luck then. I'm so in luck. Hallelujah! I am so in luck. I pray you don't run out of that luck soon. Oh, come on, with you. I'm always going to be in luck. <laughs> you know, everything that has a beginning always comes to an end. Someday. Okay. What's, up? What's happening? What's going on? Are you tired of something? Do you, do you want a break? Me? You want a break? Just, just tell me. You say, I want a break. I should be asking you that. What exactly do you want? Absolutely nothing. You are the one always bickering about everything. My grouse with you has never been about everything. It has been about one thing specifically. Your infidelity. Your desecration of the sanctity of this yeah, marriage. Yeah. Always whining about imaginary things. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Imaginary things. Yeah. Huh. You know what? If you're tired and you want a break, just, just tell me, just let me know. Just say, I want a break, and I will let you fly. <laughs> I know that's what you want. But you know what? I would not give it to you on a platter. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? Time shall come when I'll be here, but not really here for you. That's what I mean. You're speaking in riddles, baby. Just be clear, you know? Be more explicit. Just say it out. Don't worry. Soon, it will be crystal clear. But now, go ahead and do what you're doing. Continue. <laughs> With all pleasure, baby. <laughs> With all pleasure. <sighs> hmm. Good to see you. Good to see you wow, too. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. What's up with you? I know, right? Mm. I've been on Jason's case, so my dear. Uh, so, what's new? I'm running an investigation on Jason and his numerous side chicks. I have a dossier on each of the girls. Did you confront him with that? Not directly. Why? Cause I just, I, I, I just think it's, it's, it's not the right time. <laughs> so when is the appropriate time then? I really don't know. So what's your plan for those side checks? None. I don't understand. Why would you embark on an investigation if you don't have any actionable plan? I, I just, I just wanted to know the girls. I want to know why Jason is so drawn to them. So what did you find out? They're just regular girls, slay queens. There's nothing interesting or, or special about them. Nothing. They're just sex powers. <laughs> about that, darling, I am very good at it. I'm not the boring type. And I've never ever starved Jason of it before this whole thing My started. Dear, men don't need cogent reason to cheat. It is in their DNA to cheat at will. As for those side chicks, I think you should confront them and teach them a bitter lesson they will never forget. <laughs> I would do no such thing. Jason is the one going after them, okay? So if anyone needs to be taught a lesson or confronted, it should be Jason. <laughs> you just can't sit back and do nothing. I think you should confront them. 
until I figure out how to deal with this situation, once and for all, I am not confronting anyone yet. Cool, if you say so. Anyways, can I offer you a glass of smoothies? Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice I'll see right you again. Back. Don't, don't you dare touch me. What? Oh, so I'm coming close to you. You're pushing me away. You're the same person who will be complaining that I don't spend time with you. I don't come close to you. I'm spending time with side, side chicks. Now I'm coming close to you. You're pushing me away. Or oh, is, there, is there somebody I don't know about? I beg your pardon. I asked you a direct question. Are you seeing somebody? What? Look. If you say that to me next time, or even try touching me, else you hate what I'll do to you. What's been wrong with you? <laughs> Coming close to you, my wife, or I'm touching you and you are misbehaving. You can't touch the person you're chatting with. So that's why it's making you angry. You don't know your body belongs to me. Eh? She touch you anytime. Don't do something now. You are. You are. See the wrong with yourself. Ha. Me, I said, I don't even say that. Hello? Please, am I on to Mrs. Edward? Yeah, who's asking? My name is Jessica, the manager of Flair's Hotels. Can you confirm that Mr. Edward is your husband? Yes, he is. I am calling to inform you that your husband suffered a stroke. My husband suffered a stroke? Who was he with at that time? He checked into his room in the company of a young girl whose identity we do not know. He was found alone. Okay. Thank you. Modern hospital, right? That's right. Alright, thanks. Yes, please come in. Good day, doctor. Good afternoon. Please have your seat. Thank you. How may I help you? I'm the wife to the man that was brought in here, the one that suffered a stroke. Oh, yeah. He's now, I see you. How is his condition? Critical. There's a blockage in the supply of blood to his brain. Caused by what? From the sample of his blood taken, it was caused by an overdose of Viagra. Viagra? Yes. Okay, um, I'm listening. There was also a large amount of alcohol found in his system. Also, he appeared to have been actively engaged in sexual intercourse at the time of the incident. Currently, our medical team is detoxifying his system, after which he will proceed to the next line of treatment. So, when can I see him? Soon enough. 
In the meantime, you should see our account department for the bill. Okay. Hello? Michelle, is that you? Yes. Where's your husband? He's been gone for hours and the MD is asking to see him right now. Your friend is in a hospital. Hospital? Yes, he suffered a stroke. How? He was very okay when he left for lunch. How come? I don't have details yet, but as it is, he's completely incapacitated. Which hospital is he at? Moderna, it's, it's in phase one. Okay, I'll be in touch. So sorry. Thank you. Mrs. Edward. Yes, doctor. Yes, you can see him now. Please come with me. Okay. Hi Zainab, can please can I talk to you later? Babe, are you okay? No, I'm not. What's up with you? It's Jason. I'm listening. He suffered a stroke. My God, how come? I really can't talk now. Can I talk to you later, please? Oh, oh okay. Where are you? Modern Hospital Phase One. Oh my goodness. Okay, as soon as I'm through with what I'm doing, I'm coming over to see you. Okay. Okay. How exactly did this happen? The consequences of his serial infidelity finally caught up with him. How? The doctor said he took more than the required dose of Viagra in conjunction with the alcohol in his system. And he was in an active sexual intercourse when it happened. My God. This was somebody that was supposed to be at work. Huh? Oh, look at him.
Okay, we'll be staying here in the guest room for now. I can't have him mess up the master bedroom. Osas, thank you. We'll take it from here. All right, ma'am. Are you comfortable here? Or should we put you on the bed? Point to the bed if you want us to put you on it. If you want to remain um, in the wheelchair, just blink your eyes. Okay, he'll, he'll be fine there. Please, get also, my friend. Hmm? I need to get to the office. I'll be in touch. Thank you so much for your assistance these past weeks. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. It's nothing. And please, do take care of him. I will. You see your life? General Gattuso. Where is all that energy now? Eh? Where is all that energy you were sapping around town in the waste of every woman? Where is it now? Look at what you've done to yourself. Look at you. How many times did I warn you that that thing you were looking for in the waste of every woman, that you'd find it one day? That day is upon you. That day has come. But I'm still here. It's not like you deserve my empathy or my help. But I'll take care of you because of humanity. This is a bell. You can press it or touch it. I'll hear it anywhere I am. If you need me, okay? That's you? Yes, Momoto. You're not calling me your phone number today. Yeah, this is a friend's phone. How are you? I'm okay, Mom. What's up with that? He hasn't replied to any of my emails in the past couple of weeks. I called his line before yours. His numbers were switched off. Yeah, his phone needs to be charged. As for your dad, he's been ill for a while now. They suffered a stroke. Jeez, how come you didn't tell Wisdom and I? Or oh, is Wisdom aware? Oh, he's not. I just didn't want to bother you guys with it so you don't start getting worried. He's going to be fine, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, Mom, please take care of that. I will. All right, Mom, I'll be in touch. Okay, bye.
Wake up. Wake up. We need to talk. Which of them were you with when you suffered your stroke? Rosalind? Abigail? Bella? Or Tenny? Which of them? Hmm? Oh, wait. There's a fifth? You look surprised. Yes. I am aware of all your side chicks and your escapades with them. And I have a file on each one of them here. Jason, I warned you. Respect yourself, but you wouldn't listen. You chose to jump from one waist to the other. Now look at you. Now that you are sick, where are your side chicks? Where are they? Huh? You can talk. Huh? Where are they?
Hello, son. Hello, mom. Sharon just told me about dad having a stroke. Is it true? Yes, it's true. So how is he holding up? He's pulling through. He'll definitely get better in due time. Can I speak with him? No, not yet. Mom, are you sure he's going to be fine? Wouldn't it be better to fly him to the States for a better health I'm care? not flying him anywhere. Don't worry, he'll get better here. He'll pull through. But he has to be here. Well, if you say so. How are you doing? I'm good. And your studies? Cool. I've got to go, Mom. Catch you later. All right. Take very good care of yourself, okay? All right, son. Take care. the doorbell where you need my attention. Oh. 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 This is harder than I thought. It's high time we invited those side chicks of yours to come help around with the chores in this house. I can't do this alone. Uh -uh. About that, I'll need your password, okay? I can't do this alone, okay? So from now on, I handle this stuff, okay? I can't do this alone. I need help. Uh-uh. Yes, you need to be invited. Oh, darling, wow, you look good. Thank you. So how have you been? Ah, my dear, it's not been easy. In fact, that's the main reason why I'm chatting up Jason's side chicks. I don't understand. I figured, why would I be the only one walking my ass off and taking care of him? So I decided to chat them up. I would invite them over. At least the four I know about. How do you intend to do that? Simple. They wouldn't know I'm the one they're chatting with till they get here. And then what? They will take turns in taking care of our man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, that was really funny. I, I don't... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. One has replied and she's asking for a meet-up. Oh, yes, just come back. And come. 
with plenty clothes. One down, three more to go. <laughs> okay, seriously, babe. Don't you think you're taking a very big risk inviting those girls here? No, I'm not. I know what I'm doing. What if something goes wrong? Oh, come on, Zainab. Nothing will go wrong. I got this, okay? <laughs> She's got this. Yeah. Well, how is Jason, by the way? <sighs> He's hanging in there and stressing the hell out of my life. Zainab, it's not been easy at all. <laughs> you don't want to know. Understand. Inviting these girls over is the best idea. Oh my God. <laughs> but I still think you're making a mistake. I am not making a mistake. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. I see you've made up your mind. Some girls will be visiting the house this weekend. Each of them will tell you that they are here to see my husband. Let them in. I mean, free access to the whole house. Hmm? On no circumstance will you tell them what happened to my husband or that I am around. If any of them ask, tell the person that I traveled abroad. Osas, this is very important. Don't mess it up. You can go. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Guess what? This weekend is going to be so much fun. We'll be having people over for the weekend. Sounds like fun, right? That's the doorbell. I think one of them is here already. I'll be right back. Hey, sugar. Dude, your wife is... I would like to hear the rest of that. Hey, don't stress yourself, little girl. All the doors in this house are all fitted with a central locking system. So once you're in, there's no going out until I decide. Please, Ma. Please, I promise I'll never call your husband again in this life. I promise. Please, Ma. That's very good. Hmm. Get up. Ma? Get up. So, now, we're going upstairs. Huh? Yes. Ma, no. Please, I told you that I'll not call your husband again. Please, Ma, please. But you're here to see my husband, Jason. Isn't that why you're here? Isn't that why you are here to see my husband, Jason? Yes, ma. Now, go upstairs. Yes, off we go. He can't wait to see you. I'm sure he's, he's missed you so much. Hey, 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 hey. Slowly. Should I let you guys catch up? I'm sure you've missed each other so much, right? I hear the doorbell. The second side chick is here. Let me go get her. Let me have your phone. I said let me have your phone. Where's the other one?
Bella, Bella, Bella. Uh, 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 we don't have to worry about that. The door is locked. You're not going anywhere until we're done here. Introduction, girls. Sidechick Rosling. Your colleague, Sidechick Bella. Sidechick Bella, say hi. Babe. Remember I told you this is going to be fun. So much fun. I'm having fun already. The rest are still on their way. Now, to the reason why you girls are here. As you can see, our man here is incapacitated. He suffered a stroke for over a month now. And he suffered that while harvesting in the vineyard of one of you. So you are here to nurse and take care of him. Let me have your phone. Why? I said, can I have your phone? You think I'm joking? If I leave this thing on your head. Give it to me. Where's the other one?
Hi. Hi. I see you girls are unsettled seeing me. I understand you're expecting to see my husband, whom you both have been messing around with. I should introduce you guys. Tenny, meet side chick Abigail. Abigail, your colleague, side chick Tenny. There must be a misunderstanding, Sam. Excuse me. Please, please let us out. I promise I will never go near your husband again. Uh, 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 don't you ever try that. Firstly, I am not your sister. Secondly, you both are not going anywhere until you're done with what you're here for. You can't keep me here against my will. I'm going to scream so loud that they will think you kidnapped me. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> wow. I'll record you while at it. Let's have a party. Why not? She wants to scream out so loud, but I can't wait to have fun with this. Oh my God. She wants to scream. Here we go. Wow. Let's have a few day with that, okay? So guys, right here in my matrimonial home, I have two silly girls who have been messing around with my husband. The stupid one on blue says she's going to scream out loud so the neighbors will think I kidnapped her. So let's have fun and hear her scream. All right, let's hear her scream. Wow. Oh wow, I thought you wanted to scream. Huh? Please stop recording. Okay. Now just so you know, apart from this, I have cameras all over this house. Hmm? And let me warn you, and a smart move from any of you. <laughs> I swear to God, I will make sure you regret waking up this morning. Now let me have your phones. Now, let me have it. Where are your other phones? Where are your... You think I'm joking? That's oh. Now, upstairs. Move! Fast! These are the order of your colleagues. So I'll need you two to pull them up to speed while they're here. And I advise you all get some sleep. Tomorrow morning, it begins. And one more thing, the most important part. This house has cameras all over it, including this room. In case if any of you wants to start anything stupid, every inch of your step and conduct is being watched. And for your sex, I would advise, don't make it harder than it is already for all of you. Good night, side chicks. What happened to him? Stroke. So, what are we doing here? <laughs> Time to get started, side chicks. Up, up, up! Bella, Rosalind, today is your off day. 
Tenny and Abigail, I presume you've been briefed on why you're here. Abigail, your job today is to make breakfast for everybody. Custard for my husband, tea for the girls. Tenny, your job for the rest of the day is to take care of my husband. Clean him thoroughly, change his diapers, and feed him at the right time for his medications. Shall we get started, everybody? Please, I don't know how to make custard. Really? At your age, you don't know how to make custard. But you do know how to mess and sleep around with people's husbands, right? Look, you have to learn how to make that custard. I don't care how you're going to do that. Obviously not with my hard end custard. You will learn how to make it and you will make it. If you don't, your task will be tripled. Can you help me? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Day your day. No, you don't take my own. I take or beg you. married man I'll ever rule it. What if we were killed? <laughs> no one even knows my whereabouts. What if I had died? My corpse wouldn't have even been traced. Babe, not only you. You see, eh? any married man that comes close to me after this experience, mm. Ogu will kill the idiot. Girls, please, I need help. Uh, 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 uh. Abigail, Abiboy, or whatever it is your name is. See, today is our off day. You go and do your work and leave us in peace now. I'm on it. It's just that I can't make that custard thing. Can any of you help me? 
I will pay if I have to. Hey. Yes, I will. Are you sure? Attention to what you're doing. Look, look, if I see as much as a tiny drop of that thing on my bed sheet, I'll make sure you wash it and it dries up this morning. Pay attention. <laughs> Wait, hey, Slay Queen. So you want to tell me you've not seen the sight of poo before, huh? You want to date a rich married man and you're not ready to bear the consequences, right? Come on, hurry up with that thing you're doing and do it properly. Concentrate and do what you're doing. Do it well and be fast about it. Hey, it's not like that. Do it well. Babe, let's agree on a price first. 20k. Ah? 20k? For making me custard? How much is the bucket of custard itself? Madam, 20k is for the full day. Don't you know Jason takes custard morning and evening? Unless you want me to help you with this morning, Una, that will cost you 10k. Even with that, your price is outrageous. Outrageous? Eh. Okay. Please wait now. Let me pay you 2k. To what? Do you think custard is easy to make? Let me tell you something. Custard and papa are the most difficult meals to make. 15k last. 5k, that's all I can afford. <laughs> yeah, pay up. Lovely. Now, get the bucket of custard. Now, get me plates and spoon. Lovely. Mm, get me spoon and water. Good. Now, I'll show you how you will make it. But you'll make the siblings only. All of you, when my husband gets out of this predicament, if I as much as catch a whiff of any of you close to him, what will happen to that person is better left unsaid. Take your phones. Take your phones! Take your shameless, irritating selves out of my house. Now, before I change my mind. Ma, the door is not opening.
Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Louis, right? Yes, ma'am. Let's free to a therapist, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Follow me. Okay, ma'am.
I can't remember the last time you called me that. What suddenly changed? Everything. Look, I... Sweetheart, I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so... irresponsible. I'm sorry for being bad husband. I mean, ever since I met you, you have been nothing but kind, loving, supportive. My wife. But, but I took all that for granted. Now I want to be better. I want to be a better man, more responsible, a better husband. Please, darling, find it in your heart, find a place to forgive me and let go of all the hurts, the pain that I have caused you. I'm so, so sorry. You were sorry the first time I caught you. Loka, darling. Loka. Please. Please. Forgive me. This time is different. I have truly changed and I want to show to the whole world what a treasure I have for my wife. What a blessing you are to me. And you truly are a blessing. Please forgive me darling because I'm sorry. I forgive you, but for the last time. The last time. 